Hello everyone, this is Jachaf. I'm recording this video uh, at uh, October 11th, 2022, and I have great updates today. So, first and foremost, I'm happy to inform that we have signed the first enterprise to use the 2.0 tech stack. Uh, I told you about it, uh, we've been in a, a MOU phase, moved to full commercial agreement, uh, it wasn't signed when I uh, had my previous video, but I'm happy to say that today it is signed and we have started development. Now this, has, uh, this is super meaningful uh, for Cody and, and for crypto, right? Because when uh, major enterprises adopt uh, a tech stack uh, that will uh, transform their users from uh, everyday users to crypto users, that's, that's great news and that's great news for Cody. That means that uh, and that specific product uh, will use uh, Trust Chain, it will use uh, MultiDAG 2.0, it will use Bridge 2.0 because we're going to deal with various types of, uh, of assets uh, and, and, and obviously Explorer and everything will let uh, everybody see what's going on. Uh, but it's, uh, it's an amazing product, it's on its way. Um, it will mean new token on top of the Trust Chain uh, created by an enterprise. Uh, I'm not in a position to give names right now, uh, and as I told you, uh, um, we are negotiating even with a bigger enterprise, uh, but this one is signed, it's cool, it's great, it has a lot of users, and I really look forward uh, to being in a position to tell you uh, more about it. Development has commenced, uh, the team is super focused on this, and we'll keep you, uh, keep you informed. So that's one thing. Uh, the other great news is that the Treasury has reached it's all time high in terms of uh, uh, deposited value. So we have about a uh, 460 million Cori deposited at uh, this time, uh, which is amazing. And um, as requested by many of you, we are going to have longer staking periods that will lead to a higher APY for those who choose it. Uh, but it will also lead to generating more of G Coti, Coti's governance. Uh, token, which we'll discuss uh, uh, a bit later, but this is coming and this is around the corner. And just imagine, you know, uh, uh, the treasury with longer staking periods, the value that is uh, kept in, uh, the possibilities are amazing. Uh, and, um, and the treasury is, is fundamental to Cody and it will continue to evolve throughout time. We have great plans for that and, and we'll talk about this uh, a bit later. Um, okay, another thing, uh, a lot of you have mentioned and, and obviously we've been observing of the fact that uh, the Coty debit card is, you know, simply put, not what we have expected and not what you deserve. So we, uh, behind the scenes, we've been actively working, you know, both with uh, improving what can be improved with Simplex, uh, but also uh, negotiating with other vendors. Um, uh, we are... Um, at the end of it, I think, and we are um, I'm hoping to be in a position where in, in an update or two I will be able to tell you uh, what's done, but uh, you know, you've talked, we've listened, uh, we are aware of, of you know, the fact that if you don't have Euro, using the card is, is not a, it's not a great experience, it's, it's not what we wanted, so we're fixing it, uh, and you will be notified when we have uh, news, but just know that it's being handled. Let's talk a bit about uh, MultiDAG 2.0 and, uh, and Bridge 2.0. So um, happy to say that we are on track with uh, MultiDAG 2.0 uh, to release it um, in, in late November, early December-ish. Uh, it, it will tail uh, the launch of Bridge 2.0, but I'll, I'll touch a bit with, uh, I'll talk a bit about Bridge 2.0 a bit later, but uh, that will follow uh, Bridge 2.0. Uh, we'll announce the hard fork for MultiDAG 2.0. Node operators uh, will have time to uh, adjust their software, test it, and it's, if it's all good, we're launching that. Uh, and obviously, uh, MultiDAG 2.0 is, is essential uh, for the future of Cori because that allows the, the basis of minting new tokens. So late November, early December, still on track, it looks good. Um, we are also on the final stages of releasing Bridge 2.0. Bridge 2.0 essentially means uh, our ability to easily convert uh, any asset on any type of network uh, to the trust chain and vice versa, right? This is super 
uh, important and, and also super cool because you know we, we can connect uh, on, on various levels with, with, with various chains. So this is important. I'm happy to say that we should be able to release it in, in about two weeks or three weeks. Uh, and as I've mentioned in, in my previous updates, uh, the three key things to look for in Bridge 2.0 is a swap monitor page where you can uh, track uh, your transaction, cancel it, uh, and, and vice versa. A new user experience or, or, us, uh, in, or user uh, interface. Um, and also a swap max rate limit that we've put in place to make sure that uh, no bots are using the bridge and, and that the allocations are kept for our community. So Bridge 2.0 is also coming. Now, um, after these two, right, we'll be able to uh, finalize GCOTI. And we'll talk more about GCOTI and, and you know, there's going to be a lot of information out there about GCOTI because this is uh, essentially the first token on top of, of the trust chain that is not the essential uh, Cody. Um, and um, uh, briefly, GCOTI, uh, uh, Cody's governance token uh, for the treasury, uh, it will give you better APYs when you use it as, as an APY booster. It will give you the right to participate in, in liquidation, right? Just means that you can generate re uh, rewards for yourself directly. Um, um, and, you know, voting and everything that is governance related, right? And you can get it for free if you have Koti, if you've uh, um, used the treasury, uh, if you helped us uh, spread the word out. More information will come uh, about this, uh, including the tokenomics and everything. Uh, but just know that you can get it for free if you have enough Koti uh, and you're actively working with us. So GCOTI will trail Bridge and Multidag because we will need Bridge 2.0 for GCOTI. GCOTI um, will exist on other networks as well. Uh, we will need Multidag because uh, we mint GCOTI on top of uh, Multidag. So keep that in mind. JED. So um, a few things about JED and, and JED is, is progressing as expected. Uh, the Vassil hard fork was successfully completed, so congrats to uh, Charles Hoskinson and the entire uh, Cardano ecosystem. Um, we're now working on, on amending and adjusting JED XYZ, so uh, it will include all the Vassil enhancement, uh, enhancements and, and you can uh, continuously uh, test with it. Um, but obviously what's more important is JED on, on mainnet, right? So a few things that uh, the IOG uh, team uh, uh, alongside Cody has been working on uh, recently uh, that will improve JED technically. So uh, bear with me. So extensive scripts optimization to increase uh, throughput. Uh, it will cut down more of this, oh, about 60% of the other fees, right? That are associated with transmitting the, the transaction. So that's cost saving for you. Uh, other exchange uh, rate acquisition uh, module has been updated to support uh, at least six external sources. That means that it's safer now uh, uh, to use. Um, it, it just eliminates one vector of attack and gives more uh, redundancy. 80% uh, of the test objectives already impl uh, implemented to uh, automatically uh, test the JET smart contracts and uh, Plutus uh, backend application, what is called PUB. What it means is that uh, it, it just gives us the ability to better and faster uh, have develop and have better release cycles uh, on top of it. Um, so what are we waiting for right now? We're waiting for, I mean, obviously we're doing all these upgrades, right? Uh, but we are uh, waiting for the final audit report uh, that is scheduled for the end of November. Uh, and as far as we all know, we're still on track for that. So this is what we are waiting for. Um, if it's 100% clear, it's, it's, uh, it's an amazing uh, news. Uh, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. And, and uh, as I said before, uh, zero compromises when it comes to safety on, on JED, obviously. So um, just wanted to let you know that we are uh, on track. Now, a beautiful thing about JED is that JED will hit the ground running. Um, the business development team in, in Korea has done tremendous work with um, partnerships and adoption for JED even before it was uh, uh, born. It's kind of like, uh, like an elephant, uh, like a baby elephant, right? When, when, when it's born, it's already working and, and it's already eating a lot, right? So uh, JED is kind of like 
that. It already has uh, over 40 partnerships uh, signed, um, and we have a new one that is just uh, being signed, uh, signed sorry, uh, with uh, uh, Impawa. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing it the, the, the right way. Uh, and we're keeping them coming. So uh, when it's ready to launch, you know, we just press play and a lot of these uh, adoption partnerships uh, just uh, immediately launch, which is, you know, great. So um, I'd like to put everything in context and, 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 and in order uh, in terms of, uh, of timelines. Next release is Bridge 2.0. That is in about two to three weeks. It is then followed by MultiDAV 2.0 uh, mainnet. Uh, that is planned, um, you know, if, if everything is done right, I would say uh, um, late November, early December, after everything, you know, after the testnet, after uh, uh, the hard fork, after the uh, node operators upgrading and everything. That is, you know, what I uh, can expect. It is around that time that we should get the final audit report for JIT, right? So this is also a pivotal uh, moment uh, for, for us. When this happens, we're ready with uh, GCOTI. Uh, so GCOTI is, is currently planned for the end of December. So for Christmas, uh, this will be the, the Christmas gift uh, uh, from Cody if, if all goes well. Uh, so you should uh, bear that in, uh, in mind as well. Uh, lastly, I'd like to uh, congratulate the new mainnet uh, node operator uh, in our network, uh, the Stake Audi node. Uh, so congratulations, uh, and there will be uh, more coming. Um, you know, looking into the into the future, because you know a lot of things are happening in Q4 uh, for uh, for Cori, uh, but we are also you know while we keep that in mind and super, you know, laser focused on on execution on on this. Uh, we're still planning uh, a lot of other things um, and I'm hoping to uh, to be able to uh, you know share our thoughts about uh, you know 2023 and and the future um, uh, you know in the coming weeks uh, or even month but um, you know we're slow cooking a few a few things um, and I'll you know I'm ho hoping to be in a position that you know it's it's solid enough so I can uh, share it with you. Uh, but we never rest, as, uh, as you know. Um, let me just wrap with the thing I've started with. The first commercial enterprise uh, agreement has been signed uh, and delivered. Uh, that will use the Tech 2.0 stack, uh, which is an amazing news. Uh, and we'll keep you informed uh, when we can. Uh, but um, Super excited about this, and the entire team uh, is excited about this. Thank you for listening, and stay coy.